So first and foremost, before the video even starts, guys, I want to give a big shout out to one of our newest 8-bit heroes, Ultra Brian. Uh, he is one of our newer subscribers. And from now on, we're going to be giving a shout out to our new 8-bit hero members as soon as they become subscribers. So if you want to get a shout out, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Now, also, if y'all could do me a favor, watch the video all the way through. Hit that like button if you enjoy the content. Now on to the video. Excuse me, Green Lantern? For the last time, I am not Green Lantern. My name is... <laughs> Just kidding. I know who Booster Gold is. So Let the race swap and continue. As if the CW didn't have enough on its hands, with the idea of it possibly being sold in the near future, there's a new rumor coming out about the Legends of Tomorrow. Well, what's going on in this dumpster fire, you may ask? Well, it seems that in the finale of Season 7, there will be a new character introduced, played by Donald Faison. Will this character be Icon? Will this character be Bumblebee? Will this character be Steel? Will this character be any original character whatsoever that we actually want to see? Of course not! No, 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 no. That would be too much like right. And we'd be living in the fun universe if that was the case. No! Instead, we're going to circumvent all of the other uh, black characters that could get their own spotlight and their own starring role and that we've never seen before on the screen. And we're going to palette swap and tokenize yet again. Who is the next victim of the tokenization of the DCCW shows? Why? It's our old friend from Justice League Unlimited, Booster Gold. I swear to God, Dwayne McDuffie is turning in his grave. Jesus Christ. So now we get to see yet another character who we've already seen before in another iteration be race swapped and tokenized in the name of faux diversity and inclusion. So Donald Faison is rumored to be playing Booster Gold, which we already know Booster Gold doesn't look like Donald Faison. Let me count the ways. Well, first of all, Donald Faison is too old. He's too out of shape. And uh, what's the one I'm looking for? Can't quite put my finger on. Oh, right, he's too black. Because Booster Gold is not a black character. Can we please stop it? Shut it down. This is nonsense yet again. And how does this help? I mean, remember, The Legends of Tomorrow already boasts a really bloated cast of characters that basically, you know, go in and go out like Ash's Pokemon roster. And now we have to do this again with a, yet another character. I mean, we already did this with Firestorm in that series. So I don't really understand what the point of palette swapping yet another character is. Especially within the, I guess you can loosely still call it the Arrowverse, there were other black characters like, let's say, from Black Lightning. You could have got either one of the daughters or, or whatever to be involved in this series since it's our, the premise is already kind of, you know, out there to begin with. So the idea that we're going to bring in Booster Gold and then palette swap him for whatever reason just adds more fuel to the tokenized dumpster fire that is the CW. It's not as if we had enough with Batwomen, you know, uh, where we got all the diversity points for the price of one. I mean, remember, she's uh, LGBTQIA, LMNOP+, then she's also black and a female, so that's just triple points. Do you get like a bonus for that? Like, is that like a triple word score? I don't know, but I do know that nobody cares. I mean, like I keep saying, this doesn't resonate with black audiences. And we know this doesn't resonate with black audiences. You know what does resonate with black audiences? Shows like Black Lightning, you know, centered around an original black character. Why is the CW so tone deaf when it comes to this? I honestly think that they want this tokenization to become the norm and people to get used to it so that they could continue doing it and then when they need to recycle these characters and put them back in their original Caucasian positions, they can do so and get a lot of headlines for doing it. That's honestly what I think, but you know, I could be wrong on that. Really, it just seems as though them running out of ideas, 
you know, putting their shows at obviously lower budgets and the writing being piss poor, especially on the shows that have been around for a little while, like Legends of Tomorrow. You can wonder why, you know, uh, Warner Media and Discovery really just want to sell off their stake in the CW. I mean, it just it just makes financial sense because none of these shows are good. Like literally none of them. I mean, with the exception of what Superman and Lois, which I've reviewed on this channel, definitely check out those reviews. Uh, I'm pretty sure at the end I'm going to have those uh, links there. But that is a good show. But that's one good show in a sea of trash. I mean, let's let's look at it. Even the shows that are about original black characters that are on the air right now because they cancel Black Lightning. Naomi, trash. And she's not trash because she's black. She's trash because the show is poorly written poorly directed and just piss poor at best it's not a good show so i mean what else is there batwoman which should have been canceled a long time ago which there's a rumor that that's you know being used for money laundering purposes i don't really know if there's any validity to that but it would make sense to me then you got the flash becoming worse and worse as the seasons progress it says uh from what i understand grant and gustin is only signing on for this season uh, going forward, and I don't know if he's extending that contract beyond that. Then you got Legends of Tomorrow, which shouldn't have lasted past yesterday. And, you know, it's just, it's really sad that these DC properties are not getting the love that they deserve. I mean, they're still Stargirl. Uh, last I tuned in, it was still good, but I might have to do a refresher on that just to see, you know, if that's gone down the woke hill. Uh, but... Honestly, I'm just really disappointed with with this decision, if it is true. Like I said, this is a rumor. And I just wish that we could get some of the original DC characters that happen to be black on screen. Again, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to beat this drum. We have all of these black palette swaps uh, for characters, these tokenized characters, and yet we still do not have a live action static. Let me repeat that. We still do not have a live action static. We still do not have live action John Stewart Green Lantern. What in the hell? But you guys let me know. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe it's just me being sensitive, or maybe this is just stupid crap that people are going to skip like they skip all the other CW shows. That being said, guys, 8 Bit Heroes out. See you on the next one. Peace.